Here is the second lighting test for uh, the part of the columns that I wanted to use to display uh, movie memorabilia and sort of knickknacks, uh, figurines, that kind of stuff. So each column is going to have its own display area and I wanted each display to have its own light. Uh, so here I've got my RGB hockey puck light, nice slim profile on these. Um, but when I looked around, I couldn't find an RGB hockey puck which also gave me the functionality of the Wi-Fi and the app control. Uh, the, so what I did was I bought this set that just came with the regular sort of little remote that you see in these kind of applications. And it's, you know, it's nothing more complicated than the standard RGB cable uh, linked up to some RGB LEDs. So then I went ahead and you can actually buy these Wi-Fi controllers on their own. So I bought a big batch of these to mate with these hockey pucks. Uh, and then some um, five volt power supplies to, to power these controllers. So now by combining these two things, I've got all the fun functionality I wanted in the form factor that I wanted. So you can see I've got this all linked up to my, the same app that I was using for the columns. It's the one I use for the bar as well. A little hard to see the color changes because it's all a little overexposed on the phone camera here, but you should be able to see the color shifts uh, taking place. Then go to green. I'll go over here to red. So you can see it's it's working. It's doing its thing. And again, I can uh, you know fully control the brightness. It's pretty intense. You now all the way down to very low or even completely off, of course. So again, this gives me the voice control, the functionality I want. It's all in the same ecosystem. So I can group the displays together. I can um, group them with the column that they're in or put them as part of a larger set for the whole room. I really wanted to do RGBs um, because obviously um, if I've got a figurine of a certain style where it's got a certain color to the figurine, then I can tune the light that's shining on that to represent the, the colors in that figurine better. Uh, rather than just having a standard white light uh, shining down onto each example of whatever piece of memorabilia it is that I've got on that column. Um, so pretty happy with these. A little bit loose, this connection here, because these two weren't designed to go together. <laughs> Excuse me, sniffling away. Allergies are killing me. Um, but uh, I can go ahead and, and sort of solidify that connection and make sure that, that they're okay. Uh, but they work. So... Uh, pretty successful on both of those lighting tests. So now I can go ahead and finish building the rest of the columns and get them all stained and finished and go ahead and install the lighting on each one, get them all integrated into this ecosystem. And then I should be able to do some pretty impressive mood lighting throughout the whole theater, all from uh, an app like this or uh, using good old Alexa voice control.